area was struck by a magnitude 5.9 earthquake that destroyed buildings and killed more than a thousand people, the deadliest quake in more than two decades. The injured are rushed to the helicopter to be taken for help. At a clinic in the region, the injured lie waiting for whatever help they can get. The epicenter was a sparsely populated mountainous area, but the impact was felt much farther away. It was midnight when the quake struck, this woman says. The kids and I screamed. One of our rooms was destroyed. Our neighbors screamed and we saw everyone's rooms. Another local man says the houses of our neighbors were destroyed. When we arrived, there were many dead and wounded. They sent us to the hospital. I also saw many dead bodies. Taliban trucks were seen moving bodies out of the area. Some homes were badly damaged. The government says some entire villages were destroyed. The man shooting this video says that one of his grandchildren was buried in the rubble, but they managed to pull them out alive. At a press conference, the Taliban pledged to send more than $500 to the families of those injured and more than 1,000 to those killed. A bold pledge for a cash-strapped government in the midst of an economic crisis. Now, UNICEF, the WHO, other aid organizations. All right. Shalom. Kahalayim la. Yahal Bashim Yahal Shai. Bashim. Dash. All right. Wahal Rachak Dash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well for who taught me this truth. This, uh, salutations to the hopeful elect. You brothers out there in the four corners of the world pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity. And to you, fusion sisters who hearken as well. Okay. Peace, love, and blessings. All right, so I'm going to just make this video real quick. All right, another signs of times and things of that nature, man. All right, you, you read the title. You saw some of the video. Hey, man, the Lord is in a rush to come back, man. Okay? And we in a rush to have him back, all right? Who the world ain't really calls uh, uh, Jesus Christ. All right, his name is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. He's coming back to deliver you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are Israelites, according to the Holy Bible, man. All right, this is our, our religion, our heritage, our whole background, our history. All right, and the God of the Bible is giving us warning from him. Okay, not through the mouths of his prophets. All right. Now, earthquakes, earthquakes are in the Bible, man. You know, and more and more of these earthquakes, our, our, earth, our earthquake is a sign, are, um, are revealing the end, man. You know, because the, the earth is mourning. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's uh, start with that scripture. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make this video too long, but you know, just move through the spirit. Okay. Earth mourneth. Yeah, Khan, this is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 24, verse 4, it says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Okay? Now, if I'm not mistaken, those are Afghanis. Those are uh, those are Ishmaelites. All right, so the Lord getting busy. The Lord was getting busy over there, man. Killed That earthquake killed a thousand people, you know? Because, again, the earth is not at rest. The earth the earth is, uh, hasn't been at rest for a while since this damn devil has been in power. All right, this devil talking about Esau, Edom, the red man, the red nation on the planet. Okay. Verse five, it says the earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ever, uh, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. If I'm not mistaken, the scriptures are uh, uh, twofold. All right, because Esau, Edom, uh, he, he, he messed up the ordinances of the Israelites. All right, us, our chosen, uh, the chosen people, our people. Okay, he's not giving the 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 uh, the earth a land Sabbath. All right, meaning he's not letting the earth rest and replenish his resources so we can use them again. Okay, he's not letting our people uh, physically rest. You know, he's turning all of our natural resources into into uh, uh, genetically modified organisms and all of this other nonsense. You know, so the earth is mourning, man. He's poisoning the water, the food, the people. Okay. Verse six it says, Therefore have the earth devoured the earth. As a matter of fact, we um 
Yeah, we're going to stop there. Yeah, we're going to stop there. You know, verse 5, man. All right? Because what? Because the world... The, the, the world isn't physically going to end, okay? Because the scriptures say the earth abideth forever, all right? But this age, this current time is going to come to an end, and that end is very soon. And that's why we're seeing more earthquakes. That's why we're seeing more uproars of the people, like these uh, these little civil wars and um, these wars in these uh, other nations, man, okay? Because what? The, 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 uh, the, the covenant was broken. You know, also by Israel, because like I said, I believe the scriptures too full, but also by Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, because we we repelled the Heavenly Father, all right? We rebelled against them, all right? And went off from our, our Lord's statutes and commandments, all right? We, we broke the covenant too. You know, we broke the covenant first, okay? Let's get this in matthew the 24th chapter all right again because our lord and savior discussed these times okay um matthew 24 i keep forgetting what verse it was let's go to 16 though matthew 24 and 6 it says and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right, and that's exactly what's going on right now. All right, we're seeing wars and rumors of wars. You know, these all um, these other countries boasting they uh, they missiles, their military might. All right, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Are we not seeing all of these things right now? All right, it's the end, man. It's the end of this age. Okay, Yahweh Shah, uh, uh, actually, who I'm reading from, because it's red lettering. Okay, Yahweh Shah is coming back. All right, with 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 the with the vengeance, man, with the proper spiritual vengeance. Okay, to get busy on this place and deliver salvation to his elect, you know, and destruction to two thirds in the um the heathen, you know. So you got nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom. It says, and there shall be famines. Okay, you got the the, uh, the inflation going on. All of the food prices is being hiked. All right, pestilences. Are right? you got all of these uh these um these um uh, uh diseases? I can't I can't make mention of them. All right, but these these viruses. All right, these viruses going out. You know, man made. All of them man made. All right, it says the earthquakes in diverse places, you know. So we just read about the, i seen the video rather on the earthquake. All right, in uh, Afghanistan, killing a thousand people. Verse eight, it says all these are the beginning of sorrows. All of these are the beginning of sorrows, man. All right, as a matter of fact, Matthew 24, eight, let's go into that word sorrow. Let's just get into my short. Matthew 24, 8. All right. It says, Odin, it says the pain of childbirth. <laughs> it says the pain of childbirth, travail pain, birth pains. All right. Did the, not, did the scriptures not say uh, that, uh, that's how Jacob's trouble is going to look? This is the beginning of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay. Like a woman going into labor, you know, the people going to be the same. It says intolerable anguish in reference to the dire calamities to precede the event, the advent of the Messiah. OK, intolerable. Hey, look, see, these these scholars, they know, man, you know, and, and really it just really is just common sense. OK, but common sense, they common to the people in the world. Right. It says intolerable anguish in reference to the dire calamities precede the advent of the Messiah. Consuming grief, pain, sorrow. Yep, kind. Kind. Hey, cut it out, man. The scriptures is real. You know, this was talked about in the Old Testament as well. All right, in the Apocrypha, which a lot of y'all don't believe in the Apocrypha, but that's fine. You know, because you're going, you're going to experience the Apocrypha. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, Matter of fact, let me see. It, it might have been Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. If I'm not mistaken, Second Ezra, chapter nine. 
kind. Second Ezra's 9 and 1, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he made. Yeah, Yahweh, who the world calls God ignorantly, uh, ignorantly they're sending Yahweh Shai, uh, his son, back uh, to deliver judgment on this place, man, proper judgment, you know? So we have to continue to measure the time diligently in itself, man. It's not it's not time for, for brothers to, to draw back and get sloth and get slack. All right, I say that for myself first and foremost, okay? Because the scriptures talk about the sluggard, all right? It says, and when thou seest part of the sun's past, which I've told you before, yeah, we're seeing the blood moons, we're seeing the, uh, the lunar eclipses, the solar eclipses, all of these things, because what? Yahweh Shah is coming back, man. All right. The time of the end is, is, is at hand. You know, Habakkuk, the second chapter, you know, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most I spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. All right, so this was all of this was talked about, you know what I'm saying, in the Old Testament. All right, and even before then, you know, because the scriptures say what? Um, and I'm going to get this and I'm going to close out. All right, it's the end, man. It is the end of this age, man. You you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos should be celebrating. All right, because your Lord and Savior is coming back home for to rescue you. All right. Um Yeah, Isaiah 46 and 10, it says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times that the things are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. All right. Like I like what it says in um, Isaiah the 55th chapter. As a matter of fact, let's go there real quick. So like I know I said that was the last one, but I do this a lot. Um, it says, uh. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right. So all of these things are supposed to happen because the, the highest or has ordained it. Okay. So that's just it, man. You know, it's plain and simple, you know. Only I could choose not to believe, but look, man, the, the signs, the signs are here, man. All right. The people are waxing worse. The earth is waxing worse. All right. All of these are just the beginning, just the beginning of sorrows. The real, so that means the sorrow, the real sorrow ain't even come yet. Okay. Which is the hour of Jacob's trouble, you know, but we're going to, we're going to see all of that, man, through the spirit. All right. And in the flesh. <laughs> all right. So with that being said, I'm gonna say call Halayim La Yahabashim Yahushai Bashim Rakhakwadash. Alright, Wahab Rakhakwadash, Shalom.